So it's another day and there's always some fresh gadgets to evaluate here on Unbox Therapy, as you've learned at this point in time. Uh, these ones are a bit, a bit weird. Uh, well, one of them is weird. This one is weird. This is a screen holder thing that you wear on your leg. It's a, <laughs> it's a way to uh, prop your phone in front of your face without breaking your neck. I Look, I don't know, man. I'm telling you, stuff just shows up. But there's a couple of other items, but we're going to start with this screen holder thing, and then we'll check out the others after. So, the world's most convenient screen holder. They say it's the modern-day TV stand. Watch, simply hold in action. So let's check out a few seconds of the video clip here. So there's like a, a kind of arm that maneuvers into place and then it's a pretty typical phone holder at that point. But what's different and weird about it is that there's it goes onto your thigh. They expect, at least this video seems to indicate that you're gonna be on the couch, that you're gonna be reading your guitar tabs while you're playing the guitar. You're gonna be petting the dog. You're even gonna take it with you on the go, which is the part that kind of blew my mind. So I think at some point in this video, this guy's on the on the bus and he's got it strapped on the leg on the bus. He's saving his neck. He's super comfortable. There he is, that's him. So what do they sell this thing for? This is not a Kickstarter, this is a full, this is a company. They sell it for $34.99 and you can actually buy it now via their website. I think most people are just gonna do what they do on their phones, which is watch YouTube, watch videos, scroll feeds, and maybe save their neck. Because you know how it goes, you, know, you get your neck, got the neck cranked up and you're, uh, you can't get comfortable. You're, whether it's you're in bed or on the couch, you can't get comfortable. Where do you put the phone? Or you got the phone overhead and you're dropping it on your face. I mean, I don't do that, but I, I hear that happen. One thigh fits all, <laughs> kind of, Looks like it, okay, yeah, that's, I mean, my thigh can get in there. And it has a hard plate in it, so it's actually anchored there. That's probably to reduce wobble, but that's something I'm a bit concerned about, the wobble in general, because even in their video, it looks like if you move it all, the thing is kinda, might drive me crazy, I don't know, I'm just saying. So this is the phone mount. Will it hold a big phone? We're gonna find out. I have a S20 Ultra here. The gooseneck, and that is robust. Far more robust than I expected. This thing is like a weapon. This thing is solid. This piece here is gonna unscrew, and the then the... Ooh, so that clips in. That's pretty sturdy, even without screwing it on, but then once you screw it like this, it's going to be completely tight in there. Look at this wild contraption. Hey man, it looks it looks crazy, but does it work? Does it serve the purpose? I don't know. I'm putting it on my thigh, tighten it up, and now I have <laughs> my phone on my leg, which is not something I thought I would ever have happen. My phone is now on my leg. Insert it like so. You know what? Okay. All right. Check this out. That's on the leg there. Ooh, I gotta tighten this more now, actually. <laughs> That's a heavy phone. Because of this edge design, it gives it a uh, perfect curve to it, but on the table, it's got a little wobble to it. From this angle, uh, well, you can't... Yeah. Yeah, but no, <laughs> I don't know, man. Uh, it definitely wobbles a little more than I'd like, but I kind of expected that. Um, look, if if you're in the market, if you need something like this, if if you're looking at this right now and thinking that's exactly what I need, my neck is killing me you got some kind of an issue, but I just can't ever imagine myself strapping into that. It just, I don't, I, and this is coming from a guy who, yeah, I look at my phone and it's just the overcoming the hurdle of, honey, where's my simply hold? You know, and then I'm sitting over there and I got the thing in and she's looking at me strange and I just can't. It's a cool idea and, and trust me, I, I feel the pain of the neck if you're looking at your phone for a while, but uh, the one way I can see it is how they said with learning the guitar or something, 
where that could be difficult to figure out where to place your phone and you do want it close to your face. You would want it close to your face if you're looking at a tutorial or something like that. Maybe I'm the wrong guy. You let me know in the comments. Maybe this is exactly what you've been looking for. Maybe you need to be simply held. <laughs> okay, next up I have this thing called DG Rule. This is a kind of docking station for a laptop. Well, in this case, it's actually for a MacBook. They do make a few different models from what I understand. Uh, what can I say about life with a MacBook? You're probably aware. It, you, you start to have to live the dongle life because you only get one port, a USB Type-C connector, Thunderbolt port. It really sucks, to be honest. You, you wish that there was a more versatility of ports. Granted, having the Thunderbolt throughput is a nice thing as well. And if you do buy a product like this, you gather back some of those ports. I think this is a cool solution compared to the dongle life because those things hanging off the sides, it's uh, its a bit annoying. I've lived that life, so I happen to know that it's a bit annoying. So you're gonna have USB Type-C multifunction up to 5K or two times 4K 60 Hertz display. So that's nice to have. That means you're gonna output to displays, you dock into here, it's got your keyboard and everything hooked up to it. Now you're all set and ready to go. And then it's kind of the one cable situation where you just show up, plug in and everything lights up, which is something I always wanted. Now, I did showcase a while back a keyboard that had some of this functionality in it. I've actually been using it because it has an SD card slot in it as well. So this one had Type-C in, Type-C out, micro SD, SD, HDMI, and four traditional USB ports in one keyboard. And that was kind of a cool implementation. It brought a lot of ports back and made it really accessible by putting it right in front of you. And the other cool thing about this, it can work with anything. Windows, Mac, laptop, desktop, doesn't matter. You just connect it via Type-C. So you have to like the keyboard though. It does take, take a little while to get used to. So the way this thing works, as I understand, this kind of clips in. How does this work actually? Oh yeah. So it's sort of spring loaded over here on the side. I am dead in the day. Yeah, it's a new day, actually. I didn't realize I didn't have this laptop. I didn't have a 15 inch MacBook Pro here. So I brought one, I have one now, and we can finally test this thing out. It clips on, I think it's spring loaded over to the side and it clips on, I think they kind of intend in some cases for you to leave this thing on permanently that some people are gonna just put this in, into their laptop bag with all these newfound ports. And then over here on the other side, there's a little nub that fits into the headphone jack to hold it in place. And then that's kind of, well, that's what you end up with right there. You could carry it like this. It does add, of course, a little bit of weight to it, but all of a sudden now you have a whole different laptop. Now I know what you're saying. You're thinking to yourself, man, if you need all those ports, why don't you just buy a laptop that has them? Because those laptops do exist. So obviously this is exclusively for people who are destined to stay on the MacBook and want to adapt the MacBook to their needs. All right, it's so on the back of the unit. Yes, that's your power input, headphone jack, typical traditional USB times three, SD, micro SD, display port, HDMI. It's also got these little vents on the bottom. I believe it attempts to remove some of the heat from your unit. And that may happen just from the angle as well. You have a little bit more airflow underneath the laptop. And then once you open it up, you're also getting a slight incline to the deck. So it may create a slightly nicer typing experience as well. For some reason, there's a number of docks out there for MacBook Pros that don't supply enough power. They'll supply 60 watts, 75 watts, something in that neighborhood. And essentially what that means is if you leave the thing docked and you use resource intensive apps like Final Cut or something like that, you could deplete the battery even when it's plugged in. And then I heard the chime, so we are up and running. Yes, we are charging currently. So that's very nice. Now they claim that that's gonna pass through 100 watts of power. So that's more than enough for this particular laptop. It can be a nightmare at times when you've got your laptop and you need to plug something in and you don't have that particular dongle with you or adapter. M most often it's gonna be a USB type A that you have to plug in and then you remember, oh, I have no USB type A port. So I really wish that these MacBooks had at least one USB type A port. They don't. Oh, the shipping, the estimated shipping is April, 2020. So it's all happening right now. 
And in Canadian dollars, they want 150 bucks. So yeah, that's around 100 US. I don't think it's a terrible deal. The thing is made out of metal. The last one for me is this little guy right here in this video. It's from Rav Power. Now, you know, I've been talking a lot recently about power bricks, the ultimate power brick, looking for a single power brick for all your devices. And I, I've shown off a number of GAN chargers, which allow for greater power delivery in far smaller packages. This one, is all about portability at the expense of, of some of the power delivery. So this is a 45 watt charger. Is that gonna be enough for everybody? Eh, probably not. But if you're in that camp, this thing is teeny tiny. I'm gonna compare it with a couple of other chargers over here from recent videos. So for example, this is a Huawei charger. This is supercharge capable 40 watts. Okay, prong sticking out. Here is, this is a third party 18 watt. That's about the same size as Huawei's. Actually, Huawei's third, uh, 40 watt is pretty good. This is a pretty good included charger to get 40 watts in a package like that. This is the turbo power charger from the recent Motorola Edge Plus video. This is also gonna be 18 watt. This is, Nothing wrong with this charge. This is fast as well, but that's a 30 watt. So you're typically looking at things around this size, this level of chunkiness, and more often than not, they're gonna have the prongs sticking out. So putting this in your pocket is kind of an unpleasant experience if you wanna travel with it and you don't wanna carry a bag or something, you just wanna put it in your pocket. This is truly pocketable because of how slim it is and the fact that the prongs fold up. It doesn't have a fancy multi-port setup. It's a single, type C connector, it's lightweight. The other nice thing about this one, it's not crazy expensive. It comes in white and black. On Amazon, I think it's around 35 bucks. So I understand some of the apprehension around those $100 chargers, because then you're saying, man, I don't want to spend that kind of money fast charging. Oh, wait a sec. It makes a tiny little high pitched noise. Actually, if I bring this to the mic, you can probably hear it. Maybe, I don't know, maybe not. I think these could be a really good option for people who pick up the new iPhone SE, for example. Why would you go and buy Apple's, what do they sell? Is it a 20 watt or an 18? Apple sells a $30 18 watt upgrade and it's gonna have a type C. It terminates in a type C and it has no fancy folding or portability. So honestly, that's a user who I think could take advantage of something like this. Or how big is the power brick? The MacBook Air also uses a 45 watt power adapter. So this, if you're in the Apple ecosystem, you've got a MacBook Air and an iPhone that's shipped with a five watt charger and an iPad. This 45 watt could do all those different devices. All right, so there you have it. Some fun gadgets. Uh, simply hold your thigh worn smartphone movie theater. Don't you forget it.